Hi, this is Rich with PicoPros.com. What we have today is a little bit of a demonstration on the NX board software that comes included with the Acer S5201M projector. Again, that's the Acer S5201M. This is the interactive projector that we showcased in another article. Uh, it comes included with what they call the Acer Smart Pen. It's an interactive pen that you can use to move uh, your cursor around on the screen and interact uh, as if this was a wireless mouse. Uh, another feature of this wireless pen, the Smart Pen, is that you can go up to the board or your wall, wherever the image is projected, and you can click something on the board and you can drag and you can interact by actually touching on the actual projection image. Uh, what we want to show you with this NX board software, is we're going to demonstrate how it works. So if you were to install this on your machine, get your projector hooked up to the machine and enable it to uh, see the smart pen, you can open up the uh, open up the NX board software. I believe I got it. And uh, one of the cool things about this NX board software is that you can use it while you're teaching a class or um, anything like that. So basically, once you load the software, there's a row of buttons that are along the bottom. The row of buttons along the bottom are return to a desktop, a click through, whiteboard mode, cut, zoom, spotlight, screen shade, shapes, uh, print, and close, and other options. Um, on the right hand side, up along this side, you have options for pen color. Uh, I believe there's a text box, there's flood fill, uh, stamper, racer, pens, fluorescent pen, creativity pen, and selection. So what this tool enables you to do is take whatever you have on your screen, mark it up, highlight it, and then you can actually save that. And there's actually a save option down on the bottom. Um, so if you go up to the screen and use the projector. So let's say I wanted to use the color green. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to select my green option. And as you move around on the screen, you'll notice that there's a little pen icon. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. If you can notice that, see how it's a little zoom icon? Or I mean a, a pen icon. Sorry. Not a zoom icon. Okay. So let me zoom out. So now that I've selected the green pen icon, I can go up to the board. And as I click on the board and drag it, I can actually make a selection. Now I'm not sure if you notice that or not. So I think if I close that, If I close that and then choose the fill option over here, so let's say I wanted to do fill, Oop. and I can actually make a fill there. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but I think you can. So um, let me clear this. I want to get rid of my changes. There's a uh, recycle bin out on the bottom. That's just re. That just uh, gets rid of your changes. Um, once you select one of these colors here for the pen, there's some options for thickness, line thickness, line styles, dashed, solid line, arrows, stuff like that. Um, So, I mean, there's a lot of different options here. I'm not sure this is, um, how do I get rid of this? Uh, delete. Okay, now, oh, I see how that works. So this is switch, switches your options. So you can switch to make shapes. You can switch to, back to your pen or the flood. I'm going to go back to the pen. Okay, here we go. Here's back with the pen. So you can use this as a whiteboard if you wanted. I can actually, I can stand back here and I can draw like that. Or 
I can actually go up to the board. So let's say I wanted green. So I'll choose green. And I'll draw green. So that's one way that you can use this. Now if I want to get rid of my changes, I just go over here, make my changes there. And that's pretty much it. Now if I want to return to the desktop and continue working on something else, I can do that. If I want to go back into my whiteboard, go here, and do that. So, okay. Okay, so that's one way you can use this. Now I'm going to close out of this. Okay, now I'm going to start up a PowerPoint show and show you another demonstration on how you can use this software. Actually, I have it open. I can go down here. Here's my PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to um, start up the whiteboard, uh, the NX board software. Well, it's tough to double click with this. I can double click like this. Hmm. I'm sure there's different settings you can play with to change the sensitivity of that. I just haven't played around with that. Um, okay. So I'm going to go back to my desktop. Ooh. I'm going to open up that PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to open up the presentation. Now that I have the presentation open, see this little icon on the bottom right? I'm not sure if you can see it, but the NX board software keeps a little icon above all windows. So whenever you're in something and you want to start marking something up, you can go right into the application and you can go, you could get, grab your pen tool, you can do like, and you can write on there. Now when you go want to go back, you just say go back to the desktop. Okay. Continue on with your show. And let's say you wanted to um, stop here and demonstrate something else. Go back to the go you can go back into the NX board software. Uh, it looks like it saves your space, so let's clear that. And uh, let's say I want to grab the red pen and I want to circle this item here. There you go, digital whiteboard. So uh, I've seen this in the classroom, um, so it's pretty interesting. And uh, there you go. And uh, you can bring, you can again, you can use this on your laptop or desktop. And uh, this is the NX board software, and it comes with the Acer S5201M. So uh, that's included. Um, just wanted to share, you, share with you this piece of software. Uh, that's pretty much it. So we'll leave it there and uh, thanks for viewing. Have a good one. Thanks.